What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTro.com. Today we're going to be checking out these ProGrip ratchet straps. Now these are going to have a double J hook on each end. And what's special about these is you can actually slide the ratcheting mechanism back and forth wherever you need it to set up your straps. So it's fully tightened down right now so you can see it's not going anywhere. This isn't going to move when you got all that tension on there. So you got to break the tension. So just do that. Push it in the spot. Just like that. And now, you can see I can move the ratcheting mechanism up and down the strap, wherever the best placement for it would be. Now, a good example for this being helpful is uh, you can see I've moved the mechanism to the outside of our enclosed trailer. That way I don't have to fully climb in there to tighten it down. I can move it right here and then start ratcheting it after I pull that slack out there. It's going to make it easier to get it nice and tight. I don't have to climb in the trailer to tighten it down or to release it, it's right here. And that could be helpful too if you're moving furniture or something and you don't want that mechanism to go up to whatever you're hauling, you can move it out of the way, that way it's not resting on there and it's not gonna scratch or damage anything. If you're looking for a comparable option to having the ratchet strap or the mechanism exactly where you need it or easy access, there is ones that you can bolt on to the side of your trailer. Now it's not really gonna work in our enclosed trailer here today. It usually works better with the flat open trailers. You can do that and mount it on the sides. That way the mechanism will always be right there. It's out of the way and you just run the straps. Now the bad part about that is it's a fixed point. So if you were to carry something out of the ordinary, just taking a trip or something, you got a weird piece of furniture you need to strap down, it might be in between those fixed points and you might have to get creative on actually how to tie it down. That's where this comes into handy because you can move this anywhere up and down you need it. You're not stuck to fixed points. You can tie it down wherever you need it tied down for whatever situation. One of the biggest questions we get about these is how to rethread them. So since you can move this wherever you want, this can get unthreaded. So this is the mechanism by itself, and this is the strap. It's actually not that bad to do. Just make sure your strap's gonna be straight. We'll run through here at the bottom first, and come up, run through the center of the ratcheting mechanism, pull it down, and now we'll put through our double J hook. We'll just go ahead and attach that to keep that in place. That way it doesn't pull up with it. Then we're gonna come back up to that same center of the mechanism. Pull that tight. Now you can see how it's looped around the double J hook there. That's why I attached it, it's just so it didn't pull up. It was easier for me to do. So now that's looped and in place. Then we'll take the rest of the strap and run through the biggest opening here at the top so it can just kind of hang out there. And now you can pull it tight and still move this wherever you need it. And then as I'm pulling slack out, I'm also moving this to get it nice and tight so I can ratchet it up. Looks like our strap got a little twisted so I can just pop that out. There we go, much better now. So get that pulled as tight as I can here before we start ratcheting. That looks about good. Pull that mechanism. We'll start tightening it down. We can actually get a little bit more. Seems pretty good. Taking a closer look at the strap, the strap itself is gonna be made out of a polyester webbing. You can see it's got the double stitching on both sides, so that's going to help it stay strong when you have all that tension on there like it is now. Even at the parts where there's loops, there's extra stitching just to keep that loop a loop. Now, if you look down at the J-style attachment here, the double hook, it's got a coating on it as well, so you don't have to worry about it scratching anything you attach it to. I know we just have it on like a D-ring right here right now, but if you were to put it on the side of your trailer or anything, this coating is going to keep it from scratching and damaging anything. And even the mechanism itself, Really easy to operate and use. You got kind of a rubber handle here, so that's gonna help you get that grip, especially in the winter. Now, let's get some dimensions. The straps are gonna be 15 feet long. They're gonna be an inch wide. It's gonna have a safe working load limit of 450 pounds, then a brake strength of 1,350 pounds. So just keep that in mind on what trailer you're putting on and what you plan on strapping down. Now, they also come in a kit of two which is good because we always recommend at least two straps for whatever you're tying down. Now we use four today on this ATV because we just want to make sure the front and the back are tied down. So since they're in quantity two, you can just pick up two packs of that. 
Then you got four, you can pretty much strap anything you need to down. Overall, things are going to be really handy to have. These are good ratchet straps. They're easy to use. I like how easy they were to re-thread too, just in case it came undone. I could easily get them fixed right back up. Now, like I said, if you are looking for having that ratchet mechanism in a certain spot, maybe look at the bolt-on ones too, on like one of those big open trailers, but this enclosed trailer, I think these are going to be perfect for it just because you don't have all those spots to mount it and you're not stuck with permanent mounts. These can go anywhere you need them to and strap anything down. Well, that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.